Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. So I've already shuffled the cards, we can begin. I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify them. The first energy that I'm seeing is representing what many of you could be going through during this period. This particular energy is representing being in a situation that you feel you cannot leave. There's certain elements that are going on in the course of this relationship that have made you feel a sense of powerlessness. I feel like some of you are stuck in this situation. You may have tried to get out. You may have failed in doing so. And the reason for this is because you feel as if you're being pulled towards this individual. But before we go too deep into this energy, let's look at the next energy. The next energy that I'm looking at is representing passion. It's representing desire. It's representing drive. It's also representing a very subtle sort of hint of you wanting to spend the rest of your life with this individual. But it's coming down to whether or not this can be a reality. Because I feel like in this energy, you know, there's a very heavy desire to see this through, to ensure that it reaches its point of fruition. But I feel like for some of you, you're feeling as if, you know, you want to keep this individual close to you, but this individual might be resisting these type of attempts, okay? We'll have to clarify these to be sure. Now, finally, the next energy I'm looking at is representing the fact that the individual you're dealing with could have taken a step back from this connection. It feels as if they need some space, they need some, you know, time to figure things out. I do feel like this individual you're dealing with, you know, they're going through something which is centered around either having stress, anxiety, needing to recharge their batteries, they're feeling overwhelmed by a situation. So I feel like they're trying to collect their energies and uh, contemplate upon the situation. So let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. Okay, so the very first card that has come out for the individual you're dealing with is being represented by a card of endings. And this corresponds very closely to this particular energy of this individual taking a step back and needing time to think, okay? So I get the impression that inside of this individual's energy, you know, they're looking at the situation as if the two of you have already broken up. Perhaps that is the case in some situations. Now, one of the things that have been getting in the way of this person, you know, looking towards the situation in a favorable light happens to be the events from the past, things that transpired between the two of you. There might have been one particular event that may have left a bad taste in this individual's mouth, or there could have been a group of them. So I definitely do get the impression here that something is still troubling this individual to a very large degree. Yeah, I do see from this uh, individual's energy that they're trying to restore something in themselves that was lost. They're trying to find something inside of themselves at this point of time. But they're having a hard time in doing so. It feels like they're going back and forth and, you know, their energy has been incredibly deprived of who they were at one point in time. So this is representing the fact that uh, they're trying to bring more harmony into their world. What I also see from this particular energy is that this individual you're dealing with, they're very serious about, you know, having a real connection with an individual. They really want to have a proper and genuine and sincere connection. 
So when it comes to love, it feels as if they don't want to just settle. They want to ensure that the connection with you is on proper terms, if anything else, you know. So I do feel like this individual has become very clear about their intention and their desire during this period of time. I see that along the way, they happen to lose their patience quite a lot, right? And what I'm sensing from their energy is that something has occurred that has um, triggered off the sort of change or transformation inside of them. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of movement and they're trying to get away from the sense of disappointment and sadness that they've been experiencing here. So I can see that this individual is looking for something real. And they're not going to settle for anything less than that, right? So let's see what the next energy. The next energy is coming out to represent another card which talks about ending. So I feel like the two of you might not be talking to each other right now or perhaps taking a break from each other. They may have uh, come off as very strong in terms of, uh, you know, the way they left or the way that things ended between the two of you. Yeah. I see that there's this other element that's playing a role in the situation and it's revolving around, you know, this energy of external factors and forces that are getting in the way of the connection. It feels as if every time the two of you try to come together, there's always something that comes up to get in the way of that, okay? That's what I'm picking up from these energies. With this particular energy, what I'm sensing here is something very, very interesting. When it comes to this connection, I feel like the individual you're dealing with is just feeling very uh, overwhelmed, you know, especially when it comes to the emotions, it's like they just want to detach completely and they need that time to themselves. It feels as if the more you try to pursue them, the more they're going to run off. So this could be the dynamic right now. And I feel like, you know, something has changed inside of their energy. Something has occurred within this person. So what I'm seeing from these energies is that for some of you, perhaps the individual you're dealing with, you know, um, it could be relating to commitment, someone being married to someone else, you being married to someone else, or someone went through a divorce, you may have went through a divorce, that could be, you know, eroding into this connection right now. If that is not the case, one individual could be very hesitant to offer commitment or to commit into a relationship again, just because they had a few bad experiences or maybe one bad experience in the past. You know, it could be defining this relation, relationship and um, showing you where the hesitation is truly coming from. Yeah. I see here uh, that in some situations, it feels as if the actions that one individual took or the choices that one individual made in the course of the situation was done from a place of you know, knowing it all. So someone felt as if I know best in the situation, I'm going to do things my way. And what it caused was heartbreak and pain and sadness. So I feel like for a lot of you, you could be in a very dark place right now because this individual chose to, you know, do their own thing. I feel like many of you are at a point in which, you know, you can't stop thinking about this individual. I also get the impression here that um, when it comes to this individual, some of you may feel as if, you know, you're addicted to this individual. You might be obsessing over them. You might be thinking about them a lot. 
you know, you might not be able to take your mind off them in this particular situation. And what I'm getting from it is that, you know, you want to make things right here. I feel like you've been going out of your way to try to change aspects of yourself or aspects of your personality to just try to get uh, the two of you on agreeable terms. And I feel like that hasn't necessarily been working out like the way that you wanted it to. Yeah, I'm seeing from your energy that you've been trying to build this up again. You've been trying to come back to the situation and find a solution. And what I feel like is um, many of you are carrying a lot of pain and sadness inside of you because of the way things went. So you're looking for a solution and uh, there's this energy of you trying to, you know, cling on to hope and trying to believe that things are going to turn around. But this person that you're dealing with, it feels as if their energy is being indifferent to you during this time. I feel like for some of you, you could be afraid that this individual is uh, leaving or they may not return. But I'm also getting the impression here that uh, you feel like you can't stop thinking about which path to go, what choice to take. And it's making you feel trapped. So I feel like a lot of you are analyzing a lot, overthinking during this period of time. But this individual isn't really meeting you halfway. They aren't really making an attempt to do things differently right now. Let's look at the next energy. I feel like for a lot of you, you still have a lot of passion for this individual. A lot of passion. You still want to nurture this connection. You still want to build upon it. But right now, this relationship is very, you know, very much on shaky terms. It feels as if there's a lot of stress and this individual is trying to pull away from this connection because they want to take care of their own self-interest right now. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. So let's clarify these cards. Yeah, I'm seeing the energy of this individual as having walked away from this connection. For some reason, they feel like it's hard to have a happily ever after you in this situation. I feel like there's a hesitation to try to build upon this relationship. Even though they still have a soft spot for you, they just don't know how to work out the logistics concerning this connection. And I feel like they went from someone that was very passionate very full of energy to someone that has become cold, resistant, and, uh, you know, very much focused on themselves right now. They are under a great deal of stress, as we can see, and it's very hard for them to see a way moving forward. So it feels as if they backed away because, you know, they feel as if they can't figure out a solution or they can't figure out a way going forward. They feel a little bit helpless right now, and I feel like you're thinking about them a lot. I feel like it's very stressful for you to try to be patient in this situation. It's stressful to wait. Yeah, I'm seeing that there's a lack of communication. One individual has went off. And they're doing their own thing. Some of you could be stressed out that this individual might go and find someone else or do certain things. So I feel like these fears are coming out and they're coming out very strongly. Some of you could be afraid that this individual is going to move on with another individual or take a chance on love with another person. That's something that's definitely uh, worrying you during this period of time. There's, the stress of that is um, making you very concerned. Yeah, I'm seeing that some of you feel as if this individual could move on with another individual. There could be a fear here 
of them starting, you know, a life with another person because they feel like the trust is not 100% here. You may have reason to believe that they may do certain things or, you know, they may try to get over this connection by going down a different path, okay? I feel like you don't like the fact that you don't have control in the situation and that you don't have a handle over, you know, uh, what you can and cannot do in regard to them. And what I'm also picking up here is that you have a great deal of disappointment and sadness about the fact that you can't uh, romantically talk to them or have that connection that you did have with them at one point in time. So some of you have really went through the ringer in terms of this connection because there's a lot of grief here. And I feel like as patient as you try to be, you know, I feel like the frustration and the idea that you didn't uh, get what you want has um, made you feel trapped and made you feel really unhappy because I feel like on an emotional level, they pulled away to a very large degree. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.